my dear students so today we are going to check out all the question answers from the poem the brook that is from standard 7 subject english let us begin first with meaning haunt a place that one visit often where one spends a lot of time coot and hern coot and hern are both water bird hern stands for the common european heron sally a quick journey sparkle to shine brightly chatter to make a noise as if talking very fast sharp sound travels musical sound adding moving fast in circles bay a part of coast where the land curves into so that the sea is surrounded by the land on three sides babble to make a noise as if talking too much pebbles small stone fern a green plant with long stem feathery leaves and no flower because run noisily picker to argue about an important matter rich a high edge along a mountain thought old english word for a village remain full of something pebbles small stones fret wear out no fallow land that is not planted with crops fairy fall land here it refers to a scenic place that looks like an entrance to fairy land willow weeds a tree that grows near water and has long thin branches that hang mallow a plant with purple flowers trout a brown fish that lives in river or lakes grayling a fresh water fish with a long fin foamy full of mass of very small bubbles formed on the surface sorry formed on the surface of a liquid flake a small thin piece of something gravel small rounded stone often mixed with sand glue to move in dark place skimming swallow swallow that touch the brook lightly and quickly as they fly over it netted like a net shallows places that have only a short distance from top to bottom murmur to make a sound as if speaking very quietly answer the following who is the speaker in this poem the speaker in this poem is the brook which lines are repeated in the poem what do they mean the lines that are repeated in the poem are for men may come and men may go but i go on forever through this lines the brook is saying that men are transient but it is immortal where does the brook join the river the brook joins the river near philip farm mention the various places that the brook flows fast the brook flow fast the haunt of coots and herns among the ferns down the valley between the ridges thorps town bridges and philips farm often the brook speak of itself as if it is a human for example i beaker down a valley find two other example of the human activity of a brook i chatter among stony ways i went about and in and out spot and write any three alternatives alliterative phrases or sentences from the poem alliterative phrases sentences are those in which the same sound is repeated by 20 throbs a little town and half a hundred bridges by many a field and fallows and here and there a foamy flame above the golden gravel i slip i slide i glow i glance list the phrases which have the expression many a answers are many a curve many a field many a fallow many a fairy fall land many a silvery water bee the poet uses words to create pictures or images in the reader's mind for example i sparkle out among the fur write down other lines that create images or pictures in your mind and the answers are i bubble into adding bays i babble on the pebbles i went about in and out where here a blossom sailing i slip i slide i glue my glance among my skimming swallow next write a short autobiography of a brook the mountain is my father and the glaciers is my mother i am born in the lap of slopey snowy terrain yes you guessed it right i am miss will the bubbly ever youthful brook i started my journey from the slope of the mighty mountains many of my ancestors joined me making me look fatter
I express my happiness by dancing and jumping as I come down the valley. I am ever so glad to help birds and animals by quench their thirst. They Trees in the valleys are so grateful to me that they honor me by showering flowers upon me. My graceful flow is adored by many frogs and fishes who take a dip in my waters. As I reach the plains, I slow down. The calm within and outside inspires many great poets to offer their literary best. I am obstructed by many boulders, but I do not stop. I find my way by curving around them. By the time I meet the big river, many small rivulets have joined me. But today their number is decreasing. I heard some men say that the rains are decreasing each year. If this goes on, I might get thinner and thinner and die one day. I have served mankind for long as I know. I beg of you to save me and my sisters and brothers. Please plant more tree. Do not harm nature as we are your well-wishers. Preserve me to let your coming generation experience me by taking a dip in my pure water. Which other things in nature can say for men may come and men may go but I go on forever. And the answer is the mountains, the valleys, the rivers, the sunbeam, the moon and the stars. Why does the brook say for men may come and men may go but I go on forever The brook states that men are transient they come and go over time but it outlives men and continues forever Where does the brook chatter As the brook flows over stony paths its water makes a chattering sound How does the brook chatter The brook chatter in sharp and trembles What does the brook do when it flows over stony ways As the brook flows over stony paths its water makes a chattering sound To what is the brook chattering The brook chatters with a high pitched sound which is compared to the high pitched sounds of the musical notes of sharps and trembles Where does the brook bubbles why The brook bubbles into eddying bay as water flow past on obstacle a reserve A reverse motion is created that leads to swelling. These are known as eddies. As a result, a lot of bubbles are also formed. Where does the brook babble and why? The brook babble on the pebbles. As the brook flows over pebbles, the sound it makes is similar to that made while taking rapidly. Hence the phrase babble on the pebble. Why does the brook fret? Fret means fuss or worry. The brook forms so many curves that it seems as if it is constantly troubling its bank to change shape. What are the different things found in the brook? An occasional flower can be seen on its surface. The floating blossom appears to be sailing on the brook. The brook is also home to fresh water fish such as trout and grayling. Why does the poet call the trout lusty? The trout is a vigorous and energetic fish, hence Tennyson called it lusty. Why does the brook have a foamy flake? Due to occasional turbulent flow, flakes of foam are produced which floats on the flowing brook. Why does the poet calls the water brick silvery and the gravel golden? Water breaks are the breaks on the brook's surface caused by the unevenness of its bed. These water breaks reflect the sun that makes them appear silver. Gravel is usually of the brownish yellow hue. Hence the phrase golden gravel. What does the brook do as it joins the brimming river? The brook chatters as it joins the brimming river. Next, how does the brook flow among the scheming soil? The brook slips, slides, glooms and glances among the scheming soil. Why according to the poet are the swallows skimming? Swallows often hunt for insects on the water surface. They skim the water surface to capture the insect. The brook glides among these skimming swallows. What does the poem mean by the phrase I make the netted sunbeam dance? The sunlight when it passes through the leaves and branches creates an effect of light and shadow. It looks like a net in which sunlight is trapped. This is what the netted sunbeam is. When the waves occur in the brook, it creates an effect which makes the sunbeam look as if it is dancing. What does the poet means by sandy shallow? Sandy shallow refers to a shallow part of the brook that contains a lots of deposited sand and salt. As the brook moves the netted sunbeam falling on the shallow bed appears to dance 
Why does the poet refer to the wilderness as Brambley? Wilderness refer to a wild and uninhabited region. Brambles are often found in such place. Hence Tennyson refers to such region as Brambley Wilderness. Okay, let us check out the another one. Why does the brook murmur under the moon and stars? In quiet nights, as the brook passes over numerous pebbles and uneven land, it makes a certain sound. In the silent wilderness, such sound can be clearly heard. The sound remains one of the murmuring. It is as if the brook is talking to itself. Next, where is the brook lingering and loitering? The brook lingers by its shiny, shingly bars and it loiters around the water cresses that grow near the edges of the brook. From where does the brook flow before joining the brimming river? The brook leaves the wilderness, the shingly bars and the water cress behind and flow in graceful curves before joining the brimming river. Okay. Hope you all like this video. I have attempted to give all the notes, all the question answers from this poem. Hope you all like it. Please do like, share and subscribe to my video channel. Thank you for watching my video.